What do you hear? What do you say? Hello again, wrestling fans, and welcome to the studios of the Old Bay Queers. We get ready to give you another exciting month here at Pure Wrestle Passion. I am, as always, your host, Mr. Luke Jennings, hoping that June has been well for you and July has got uh, good things planned. You're not going to be too busy in the summer. Uh, here in the UK, kids break up around about the 20th of July. I don't know about the States, I think you maybe finish a little bit earlier. Um, but yeah, hopefully everything is, has been well. Hopefully is going to be well. You're busy uh, doing things out and about, getting the, the summertime uh, good weathers. We've had, uh, as of recording this, it's kind of overcast with a bit of blue sky. We've had a bit of rain, a bit of spitty rain. Let's uh, damage the uh, damage the drinks in the beer gardens, though, which I have just partaken in one in a lovely uh, pint of uh, Skipper by Moongazer, a very nice local brewery around here. And talking of around here, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to our home, the place to be Russian Network. Home of great shows such as Who's Next with This Ring, PTB Weekend Special, PTB Ends, Man of It, Russell Tracks, and everything brought to you from the fantabulous, if I do say so, Old Bakery Productions, be it Memphis Content Wrestling Cast, Hamburg All Stars, In Your House, Monday Night Project, or this delight, the pure wrestling passion. You can find out more about the network on Twitter at PTBN Wrestling. You can also find our sister network, on Twitter, that is the North South Connection, where you will find, but and you will find both on all good podcast suppliers. North South Connection bringing you such great shows as a Row One, Seat One, Wrestling Warzone, The Jenny Position, Al Kawakiti, Cronoso, Extreme Three Row Dance, Hell to the Keith, and so many other great shows covering a whole range of both wrestling and non wrestling topics. For more information, you can find out about the network on Twitter at No So Pod Network. You can find both on YouTube. I think I've put the description in the uh, in the links in the description. If not, I will do. Um, and you will also find on all good podcast supplies the Backbone Wrestling Network, a beautiful coming together of some of the best shows from PTBN and No So, including New Gen on a Mission, Ruthless Aggression, Highway to the Impact Zone, and some new shows such as Cross Up, The Shit Take, and many more. For more information about the network, you can find them on Twitter at Backbone24. That is Backbone and the number 24. You can also find them on all good podcast supplies. Just search Backbone Wrestling and you'll find them over there. Uh, YouTube.com for us at Memphis Cast gets you to watch some of our stuff. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash Memphis Cast gets you to support the mer- support the um, podcast if you so wish. Buy a t-shirt. Uh, all helps. All helps the. Uh, we've got two t-shirts out there the, at the as of recording. We've got two t-shirts out in the world. So it'd be nice to get a few more out there. Get uh, get the the re- the name of the podcast out and about. But it is what it is. Um, uh, what else was I going to say? If you want to watch the videos that I'm watching today, there is links in the description. We're going to be watching only we're only going to be watching two matches, but instead of sort of clipped matches that I was sort of, sort of frantically trying to find last month, because last month was a bit of a um, a slog. I didn't really, I, to be honest with you, I didn't really want to do it last month. I just was in a mood where I didn't want to. I just couldn't be bothered. I have these moods sometimes. The trouble with anxiety and depression and all that jazz. But this month, um, I've decided we're doing two matches, um, two different styles of matches. Um, both going to be sort of half an hour each, but they're going to be sort of one's going to. You'll, as you've probably seen in the description, we've got Hayabusa versus Masato Tanaka, and then our other video is going to be Vader versus Mitsuhawa Masawa. So we've got sort of two contrasting styles. Um, so that's going to be happening today. Before we get down to that, please visit whenitwascool.com for podcast articles and much more on retro pop culture, comics, wrestling, movies, TV, toys, and and history. And also the history of WWE.com. Richard and Graham have got you covered for all uh, your needs, your historical WWF needs, WWF needs, WWE needs, whatever. They've also got TNA, Ring of Honor, uh, NWA slash EC, no, sorry, slash WCW, ECW, Smoky Mountain. If you want to look at TV show histories, title histories, arena histories, Richard and Graham have got you covered over on the history of WWE.com. Like we said, we're going to be covering two matches, and the first of which is going to be Hayabusa versus Masato Tanaka from the 19th of May, 1998. The video uh, that I've linked says 1997, but it's 1998, because during 1997, Hayabusa and Masato Tanaka were sort of teaming, feuding, doing all sorts. So this is... um, from the FMW Nero, I'll start the video actually so I can then get going. So we'll just do this. So we'll just click on the thing so we can just start getting going while well, there's just bits and pieces happening back 
We'll just see Masato Tanaka ready to come down the ring. So this is um, from the FMW Nero FMW 1998 show in the Kurokan Hall in Tokyo, Japan. 2,150 are in attendance. Uh, the card featured Ricky Fuji defeating Hideki Hosaka, Flying Kid Ichihara and Mr. Pogo defeating Nohiko Yamazaki and Yoshinaro Suzaki. Uh, there was also Shark... Uh, Sakira defeating Crusher Madamari in a street fight bull rope death match. There was a uh, tag team match of Gedo and Jedo defeating Hido and Super Leather. There was also a tag match of Hiramichi Fuyaki and Fukihara, sorry, Yukihara Kanemura defeating Koji Nagawa and Satoru Kurudu. Uh, the uh, match before this was the Gladiator defeating. Hisakudatsu Oyu, and then this match is the FMW Brass Knuckles Heavyweight Title slash FMW Independent Heavyweight Title match. The champion going in this match is Hayabusa. He is a two-time champion. He recently won this title on the 30th of April, defeating Mr. Genusuku. This title has only been going... Oh, since 1990. Who the hell is that? Beast the Barbarian or Randy Neverman. Uh, Hayabusa is a two-time champion here. He becomes the last champion in 1999. He's also the FMW Brass Knuckles champion. Have I just said that? I have. I didn't look. He's the, also the FMW Independent Heavyweight Champion. According to Kane's matches, it was ineffective, inactive in 1996. Wing Kane Mora and the Gladiator are the only two champions. So I don't know how Hayabusa has got this title. Hayabusa is now coming down to ringside. Masato Tanaka already in the ring. I need to look at this. I need to do this. I don't need to do that. So I can watch it on OBS. That's it. So we're going to get the ring introductions. <laughs>代表取締役荒井総一より、タイトルマッチ宣言です。宣言、ただいまより行われる試合は、選手権者早草、挑戦者、田中正人とする、インデペンデントワールド世界ヘビー級選手権及び世界ブラスナックル選手権ダブルタ
I'm uh, Tanaka now working the arm, Hammer working the arm, reversible Hayabusa. Hayabusa, unfortunately, no longer with us, passed away. Uh, I can't quite remember, I do apologise when he did pass away. 2016, there's a 47, obviously, he had, he had that tragic accident in uh, 2001 where he went for the uh, second rope moonsault inside the ring and landed on his neck. Masato Tanaka still with us, 51 years of age, still wrestles uh, fairly frequently. As of recording, he, res he wrestled on the 19th of June in uh, Noah in the Go Shizaki uh, 20th Memorial card in a six-man tag. He teamed with Satsuki Nagara and Takiyura Sugawawa, Sugawawa, and they defeated H169, Harutuku, and Yoshiyatsu. Is that Yoshiyatsu from the WWF? Yeah, it is Yoshitatsu. That's Yoshitatsu, all, all one word, Yoshitatsu. So, Masashi Tanaka, and he's been across to America as well. I think he came across this year, 2004. He wrestled Colby Carino. He wrestled Rhino around the WrestleMania weekend. He also teamed with Minoru Suzuki to lose against Masa Slamovich and Rina Yamashati. He wrestled uh, Josh Alex. So he, so he did a sort of a WrestleMania weekend tour in the States. So he's. I've seen pictures of him from like now, and he's like, yeah, he's like, if you remember Masato Tanaka from like ECW, like 98, 99, he's just that, but just a bit older and fucking jacked. I think I covered a Masato Tanaka when I did, I did the ECW Living Dangerously 98. Masato Tanaka went up against, I think, Phil Lafon. He should have gone up against Wing Kimura, but come or sort of wink yeah something happened so again ladies and gentlemen I do apologise if um, I've botched any of those names I'm obviously Jap I struggle English is my first language and I struggle with that so Japanese is just a yeah <laughs> high booster now in control with a uh, chin lock considering this is a pay per view there's no commentary so uh, we're doing a doing a, a justice here maybe or an injustice I don't know Masato Tanaka gets his foot to the rope. As this is a Japanese crowd, so the crowd are just sat there in silence. There's none of this American constant chanting and just constant fucking noise. The Japanese will applaud um, and sort of make a gasp of any name, any maneuvers that they um, see fit to. Masato Tanaka has now got Hayabusa on the apron. Oh, for him, smash by Tanaka. Second row. Oh, high cross body by Tanaka knocks. Hayabusa off the apron to the outside. is on the outside. Looks like Tanaka is going to measure him. Off the ropes. Tope Suicido. I think that was a, a Tope forearm there. Flying forearm through the ropes there by uh, Masato Tanaka. 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 Dangan, as he says on the back of his trunks. He's uh, wars with uh, Mike Awesome. In 1998, 99, ECW and Japan as well. I think they, they met each other frequently as uh, uh, Awesome was the gladiator. I think that by the looks of some of these matches, um, Tanaka and Hayabusa were feuding against uh, the gladiator and various other wrestlers. The grapevine now by uh, Tanaka in the middle of the ring. We've got black ropes, we've got a blue canvas with a big white FMW uh, oh, FMW symbol in the, in the... Is FMW still going in some sort of formation or is it finished? I oh, finished in 2002. I know some of the guys are still... like um, Some of the promotions like um, Michinoku Pro are like still going but they've got like a different name and stuff like that. But yeah, they had their last card on the 4th of February 2002. A couple of ECW guys came over. Sandman Sabu was in the card. Leatherface. Yeah, Sawa was on the last card, or one of the last cards. But I think sort of following that incident with Hayabusa, then uh, FMW kind of went downhill. A figure for leg lock now by Masato Tanaka. Obviously trying to... St Without the legs, Hayabusa is going to find it very difficult to fly around. 
Oh, maybe we should try to get to the ropes that to scout the battle scars across the torso of Hayabusa. Obviously, he's been in some uh, very high, um, highly dangerous matches by this point in his career. He has been in some ex like exploding fucking death matches and all that kind of stuff. On the 5th of May, as this, obviously this is the future, but on the 5th of May 2001, he has an exploding 15,000 volt thunderbolt octagon cage bomb deathmatch. Teaming with the great Sasuke, going up against uh, Mr. Ganusaki and Tatsui Karada. He's also having another... He's, I think he's been like an FMW and had a lot of those crazy ass matches. Street fights, bunkhouse deathmatches. No ropes, no ropes, Bob. Wire, current mine explosion, double hell time bomb tornado death. Mr. Pogo and Terry Funk defeat Hayabusa and Masato Tanaka in 1996. Uh, he's also had a no ropes, Bob. Wire, spider mat double hell death. Teaming with uh, Masato Tanaka again, Koji Nakagawa defeat, and they are losing against Hido, Wing Kamura, and uh, Mitsuhara Matsunanga. They've had, he's had uh, street fights. He's had six man. He's, he's not had that many actual sort of exploding death matches or whatever. But the ones he has had, I'm guessing, have been pretty, pretty crazy. When you have got the likes of Mr. Pogo in the ring with you and Terry Funk, and you know you're having, you know, the names of the the, the names of the the matches are no rope, barbed wire, current mine, explosion, double hell, time bomb, death match. That's going to be you know just. Uh, crazy. <laughs> Surfboard now by Masato Tanaka continuing to work, work over the legs of Hayabusa. Got him on a surfboard in the middle of the ring. Tanaka now releases the surfboard, keeps the legs holded up, but he's now got it in a red in a chin lock. Referee's wearing a lovely uh, green and blue top black trousers. I've seen this referee before on some of these FMW cards. He's a uh, He's a husky gentleman. I, 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 being one myself, he's a husky gentleman, and uh, he sort of stands around. And then all of a sudden, he'll halfway through the match, he'll get excited and he'll like be flying around and counting the pins and all sorts. He goes crazy. I wish now ringing the arm of Masato Tanaka. I wish off the ropes. Oh, drop kick to the arm. Oh, she's trying to stop the uh, the lariat or whatever move. Oh, he's got that. Big old rolling for elbow, I think. Masato Tanaka, only the um, I can't remember what he calls it. Does it have a name? Something very the the rolling elbow. That's it. The rolling elbow. Oh, and it hits it. Well, it hits a uh, forearm smash anyway. I wish that grabs the arm and oh, drops the arm across the shoulder. Ibushi comes back over, grabs Tanaka by the arm, rings it again, got the arm, runs with it, oh, flying arm bar there by Hayabusa, and now a uh, arm bar on the mat. Ibushi now cinching in the arm bar. Referee asking if he wants to give it up. As my computer has frozen. Hopefully you can still hear me. That's it, we're back in action now. Oh, seated arm bar now by uh, Hayabusa. Sitting up on the shoulder and pulling on that left arm of Tanaka's. Was it uh, right arm? Uh, right arm. Tanaka trying to get to the ropes. With his foot. Trying to hook the foot. Referee asking him about the referee. The uh, uh, Tanaka hooks the uh, rope and Hayabusa breaks. <laughs> Without the commentary or the crowd making constant noise, you can hear those solid kicks of Hayabusa's. Against the arm of Masato Tanaka. Tanaka now draping the arm over the, sec oh, the bottom rope and then oh, stomps high up on the arm. So really trying to put a stop to that to a rolling elbow of Masato Tanaka. I hope he pulls Tanaka up. 
bars the arm and then rolls with him. And a uh, hammer, a rolling hammerlock maneuver there by Masato Tanaka. I wish it's still cinching in, pulling on the wrist as well, bending the wrist the wrong the way it shouldn't be bent. Referee down there, middle of the ring, checking with uh, Tanaka if he wants to give it up or not. He's saying, No way, brother. Bit Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it breaks the hold. Comes off the ropes. Oh, drop kicks the arm again. I wish they're going up to the top rope. He's going on the apron. He's going to springboard, springboard. Oh, oh! Masato Tanaka catches Hayabusa with a beautiful power slam. Hayabusa was going for some sort of springing uh, maneuver. Tanaka caught him with a beautiful power slam. Tanaka now picks up Hayabusa. Oh, elbow. Tanaka off the ropes. Oh! And again, oh, drop, oh, oh, beautiful hurricane runner there by Hayabusa. Tanaka off the ropes, Hayabusa ducks. German suplex, high and tight. Tanaka pack up again, ah, oh, Lariata. Hayabusa down, Masato Tanaka down. Referees and coach and Tanaka cover. <laughs> I love this ref, he's great. Tanaka goes for the cover. Itch. Knee two. <laughs> I can cover, I can just about count in Japanese, I think. <laughs> Tanaka now puts Hibush in the corner. Uh, no, reversal by Hibush. It comes in. Tanaka moves. Is he going for the diamond dust? Diamond? No. Oh, yes. Hits the diamond dust. That uh, corner stunner. Oh, no. This, uh, this is, is this diamond dust? He's going for it. Tornado, Tornado DDT in the corner by Tanaka. Goes for the cover. One, two, kick up a high booster. High booster now back up to his sorry, Tanaka back up to his feet. High booster still down. Tanaka trying to go up to the top rope. Tanaka struggling. High booster, oh, elbow smash stops him. High booster going up to the second rope. He's going for a super duper plex. No, let's go for a top rope. Belly to belly. Ibusa now off the rope. Oh, drop kicks Tanaka to the outside. Tanaka's on the outside. Ibusa's in the inside. This could mean trouble for the uh, for Mr. Dangan. Here comes Ibusa. Ibusa top over the top rope plunger. On the hard wooden floor here of Kirken Hall. Legendary venue here in Japan. I wish back up to his feet. I wish now rolls Tanaka back in the ring. Looks like looks up one, two, kick up by Masato Tanaka. I wish back up to his feet. Picks up Tanaka. Going for a fisherman. Buster! That's the cover. One, two. Kick out just by Tanaka. Kick out just. Tanaka, a high booster picks up Tanaka, picks him up, oh, drops him with the uh, Michinoku driver. One, two, 
Oh, kick out again by Masato Tanaka. Landed on his head with that Michinuku driver. I wish going up to the top. He's rolled Tanaka in at the corner. I wish he'd maybe going up for that Phoenix splash or something like that, maybe. That legendary uh, top rope manoeuvre. Masato Tanaka back on his feet, blocks it. Goes on the second rope. No. Tanaka's on the top rope. Super duper plex. Tanaka crawls across. Goes for the cover. It's knee. Two. Two, ho, ho, two count. Tanaka pulls up. Hayabusa going for a... Oh, no. Hayabusa gets out of it. Forearm smashed by Tanaka. Goes for a foot again. He's going for a power bomb. Oh, power bomb. Jackknife pin. Two. Kick out by Hayabusa. We've been uh, had a lot taken out of him in this match. This match got a good twenty minutes so far. To back and off the ropes. Oh, went for an elbow smash, but Hayabusa kicked him inside of the head. To back a down, Hayabusa. Now going for something. Picks up Tanaka. Hooks the arms, going for a dragon. Oh, beautiful dragon suplex. One, two. Oh, ho, ho, kick out by Tanaka. Well, no, that wasn't the dragon. That was the uh, butterfly suplex where the yeah, butterflies the arms. Yeah, dragon suplex is the full arm. Is the full Nelson suplex in it? Butterfly suplex, I believe that was. Obusa picks up Tanaka, scoops him up, slams him down in the corner. He's now going for that Phoenix splash, maybe or 450, some sort of crazy fucking innovative move that he's going to go for. And 450, beautifully done. One. Two, kick out, kick out, kick out by Tanaka. Beautiful 450 there by Hayabusa. I moved now, used quite a lot, but in, that, in 1998, this would have been very, very, apart from maybe two cold Scorpio or something like that, it would have been very, very rare to see. Hayabusa now picks up Tanaka. Go for a power bomb. Oh, drops him down to the power bomb. One. Two. Oh, kick out again. Tanaka just rolls the shoulder. Hi, Bruce. calling for something. There's a fan with an ECW shirt on in the, in the, uh, in the bleachers. Slam by Hayabusa. Looks he's going to go for something. Goes to the top rope with his back to Tanaka. But Tanaka's up, Tanaka's up. Oh, crotches Hayabusa. Follows him up. Oh, he's got him. Was he going to drop him? Oh. Bit of a stumble there by Tanaka, but managed to hold on. And a... Oh, good lord. Reverse uh, suplex there. Nearly landed Hayabusa on his neck. Good lord. Tanaka trying to pull up the dead weight of Hayabusa. He's got him up. Tanaka going for something. Puts him on his shoulders. Go for DVD. Oh, DVD. One. Two. Kick out, kick out, kick out by Hayabusa. The battle scars you can see on Masato Tanaka as well on his chest and on his arms. Tanaka pulling up. Pulling up Hayabusa. He wants to win those titles. He wants to win the... The Brass Knuckles title in there. To call him for now. Powerbomb maybe. Puts him. Oh, powerbomb. Jackknife pin. One, two. Kick out again by Hayabusa. Good lord. What a match these men are having. This is the joys of what having a monthly special where you get to watch different Japanese matches. Hopefully we've done that for the last seven months, ladies and gentlemen. We've been... Uh, Entertaining you in the the uh, the Japanese form of wrestling, be it uh, high flying, mat wrestling, hardcore wrestling. I think we've covered pretty much the basics so far, but we'll continue to do this each and every month. As long as you listen, we will continue to deliver. Masato Tanaka going for a uh, no. Hayabusa gets out. Tanaka off the ropes. Oh, big boot by Hayabusa. And a oh, he went for a hurricane run again, but Tanaka just dropped him with a power bomb. Two count. Two count by Hayabusa. Or two count on high boost, I should say. Tanaka's 
Fnaga not knowing what to do. He's used all of his moves. He's used all of his skills to try and defeat this uh, fighting champion of Hayabusa, but he's yet to have been able to defeat him here in the Great Corican Hall. Tanaka now with Hayabusa. Puts him on his shoulders again. He's going for another run and DVD. Here he goes. Drops him. Goes to the cover again. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, Hayabusa kicks out again. Hayabusa kicks out again. Tanaka not knowing what to do. Hayabusa laying on the map, breathing heavily. Taking in those deep breaths. Tanaka now grabbing Hayabusa by the hair, pulling him up, pulling the prone body up. And again, he's going for him up. No, Hayabusa reverses. Oh, big head kick by Hayabusa. Go for the dragon, go for the dragon. Dragon suplex released. Hayabusa now going for something. Picks up Tanaka. Oh, Falcon Arrow. One, two. Oh, <laughs> Tanaka kicked out. Tanaka kicked out. I thought that was it, ladies and gentlemen. I thought the Falcon Arrow defeated Masato Tanaka, but no such chance of that. Now, Hayabusa sitting there thinking, what the fuck do I have to do to beat this man? Hayabusa stumped to the head. Tanaka back up on his feet, just Hayabusa off the ropes. Big kick again. Tanaka back up on his feet, but he's woozy. Oh, elbow smash. Off the ropes. Oh, kick to the head by Hayabusa. The grazing blow, I think. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, help to roll on the one, two. Oh, kick out by Hayabusa. Kick out by Hayabusa. He got caught with that uh, rolling thun elbow. Bushman back up to their feet just to make a call for something. He's measuring Hayabusa for another power bomb. High and tight to. Oh, Hayabusa kicks out again. You can hear the crowd not knowing really who a chant for both these men. I think are, are faces. Both them back up to their feet. Just Tanaka off the ropes. Kick by Hayabusa. Tanaka off the ropes. Oops, blocks the rolling elbow. Oh, not quite. Tanaka off the ropes. Spin and kick there by Hayabusa. Oh, out the old corner. One, two. Kick out. Oh, ho, ho, just kick out again by Hayabusa. He thought he'd kicked uh, Tanaka away, but Tanaka came rolling, roaring out of that corner with that big elbow. Rocked the champion. We've been woozy. We've been had a lot taken out of him. This match gone nearly, gone well over the 25 minute mark. Nearly half an hour. Tanaka going for another power bomb, maybe. No, Hybus, he gets out of it, rolling the uh, arm drag. Off the ropes comes Tanaka. Elbow smash. Off the ropes. Rolling. No oh, block by Hayabusa. No duck for kicks. Ducks. Oh! Palm strike there by Hayabusa. Down goes Tanaka. Hayabusa dragging himself up through the ropes. Tanaka down. Hayabusa down on his feet. Sigling for something. Picks up Tanaka. Where we should go and note Tanaka blocks. Tanaka blocks. Tanaka picks up Hayabusa. Oh, dropped him with a uh, stunner of sorts. One, two, kick out by Hayabusa. Tanaka takes off the elbow pad and says, That's it. Game over. Takes off the elbow pad. Expose. He's got a bit of a bandage around the arm, but he's exp he's taken in the. Uh, he will take off the edge of this elbow. When this elbow hits, it's going to fucking hurt. Tanaka off the ropes. Oh, how of ducks spins him around, and oh, high and tight power bomb high on the neck. Hayabusa 
Picks up Tanaka. Falcon Arrow. One, two, three. It's over. It's over. It's over. Hayabusa wins. Hayabusa wins. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, we will uh, leave you with these messages. A little song. And we'll be back for our main event of Vader versus Mitsuhawa Masawa. Please enjoy. Hey, can I ask you a question first of all? Go right ahead. You know the definition of a windjammer? No, I really don't. It's now. the agonizing screams of a trapped turd. Have you heard of the Mangrate? Yes, I have. You have? Yeah. Do you have a father? <laughs> Mangrate is the perfect gift for this Father's Day. Is he alive? Yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent made in America. If he was dead, it would have been a really bad moment in the commercial. <laughs> Your dad's alive? No. Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. I'm sorry about your dad. That's fine. Your father's dead. Is your mom still alive? My mom? Yeah. No, she's dead. Jesus Christ, is any of your relatives fucking alive? It's man great. <laughs> they are revolutionizing the way people grill. What, Adam Egan? Is it true? You haven't heard of the revolution? You can put chicken on this or steak. That's not that unique. <laughs> it weighs a lot of pounds. <laughs> Is that heavy? Again. 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 No more flare-ups. You know, <laughs> you know when your barbecue has always been flare-ups? Why are you laughing? You're making a mockery out of the man grade. Chicken, steak, has never tasted so good. <laughs> 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 again, again, <laughs> again. <laughs> this commercial is like a mini series. Hey, Louisiana woman, Mississippi man, we get together every time we can. The Mississippi River can't keep us apart. There's too much love in this Mississippi heart. Too much love in this Louisiana heart. See the alligator all the waiting nearby. Sooner or later, they know I'm gonna try. When she wave from the bank, don't you know I know it's a goodbye fishing line. See you while I go. With a Louisiana woman waiting on the other side, the Mississippi River don't look so wide. Louisiana woman, Mississippi man, we get together every time we can. The Mississippi River can't keep us apart. There's too much love in this Mississippi heart. Too much love in this Louisiana heart. Well, I thought I'd been left, but I never had till I was wrapped in the arms of a Mississippi man. When he holds me close, it feels almost like another hurricane just to rip the coast. If you can't come to me, I'm a gonna go to him. That Mississippi River, Lord, I'm gonna swim. Hey, Louisiana woman, Mississippi man, we get together every time we can. The Mississippi River can't keep us apart. There's too much love in this Mississippi heart. Too much love in this Louisiana heart. Well, the Mississippi River, Lord, it's one mile wide, and I'm gonna get me to the other side. Mississippi man, I'm losing my mind Got a happy old lover and I want more time I'm gonna jump in the river and here I go Too bad alligator, you swim too slow Hey, Louisiana woman Mississippi man We can get together every time we can The Mississippi River can't keep us apart There's too much love in this Mississippi heart Too much love in this Louisiana heart oh, There's too much love in this Mississippi heart Too much love in this Louisiana heart And we're back, ladies and gentlemen, and we will fast forward a couple of, well, a year, basically, and we will go to, no, we will not go to that, because you're an absolute bastard. We will go to the 2nd of May, 1999, as we will watch the main event. We will watch the main event from... All Japan Giant Bubba Memorial Show. This show is uh, 
taped on the 2nd of May 1999 in Tokyo, Japan, in the Tokyo Dome. 65,000 people are in attendance. And they are going to be watching... So this is our main event. So the rest of the card has been uh, Narimichi Fujiwara... Mara Fuji and Tsuyoshi Kikuchi defeating Gran Naniwa and Maho Makoto Hashi. Uh, Satori Asuka and Takayashi Mora, uh, Mo, Morishima, Morishima defeating Kentora Shiga and Yoshiyaba Kenmora. Giant Kamala, Hyun Izimidi and Haruki Oigen defeating uh, Masuru Inawe, Matsuo Mamuta and Roshi Kamora. Johnny Smith, Tamon Honda and Masunubu Fuchi defeating Gedo Kojo Naka. Gara and Yokihara Kane Mora. Uh, Hayabusa, the great Sasuke, and Tiger Mask going to a 30 minute time limit draw with Manuki Mossman, Masahito Kakihara, and Yoshiara Agawa. Akira Tayu, Steve Williams, and Stan Hansen defeating Gary Albright, Yoshihara Takiyama, and Takira Umara. Toshiyaki Kawada defeating Hirasa Hasei. Johnny Ace and the Road Warriors defeating Yun Ayakiyama. Kento Kaboshi and Hakushi, and then this match, the Triple Crown title match. Between the Triple Champion, Vader, United States of America, and his worthy challenger, Mitsuharu Mizawa of Japan. The winner will get these championship belts. This great event is sanctioned by the Pacific Wrestling Federation. どうもありがとうございます。この試合が3冠ヘビー級選手権試合であることがPWFロードブレアス会長から読み上げられました。この3冠タイトルは今を遡ることを10年前4月の18日東京大田区体育館でジャンボ鶴田が3半戦を下して
But unfortunately, yes, unfortunately, I've just looked at the, the uh, YouTube comments, and both of these individuals have actually un unfortunately passed away. Obviously, Vader passed away a few years ago now as well. Vader with a go behind. Trying to lift Masao up, but Masao's trying to back Vader into the corner. Masao does. Oh, elbow smash, elbow smash, elbow smash. Oh, Vader with those clobbering, just pat those clobbering forearms across the ear. Go behind, take down there by Vader. How old is Vader at this point? Early mid 40s? I don't know. I will have a look. Uh, Leon, wait. Leon, wait. Big Vader, 1955. He's like 44 at this point. Obviously, his uh, WDF run ended badly. Not the greatest of uh, things that happened. Wasn't made to be the Vader that you know was in Japan in the early 90s or in WCW. He sort of made to look like a bit of an idiot, but this uh, run of his that he has in Japan doesn't, you know, it definitely helps then re re evaluate his um, his um, legacy. That's the word I was looking for. So let's have a quick look at Vader. Vader's last match in the WWF is the 25th of August 1998. His first match back in Japan is the 14th of November. He teams with Stan Hansen in the Real World Tag League of 1998. Do they win that? No, they lose the final. They lose the final to uh, Kenta Kaboshi and Yun Akiyama. He's in, in All Japan for quite a while. He's in All Japan until... He's in All Japan until the 7th of April 2000. He then joins Noah the 7th of October 2000 in New Japan. Is that in Noah's first match? That might be... Is that Noah's first event? Not quite, not quite their first, but he's he's there. He's on their maybe fourth card. So Vader is a mainstay in Japan up until his last time in Japan is his last match in Japan is Vader's last match in Japan is. 2006. No, he's one in teams with his son. 2011. His last match in Japan. Yeah, 2011. Obviously, his then last match is 2017. He came over here in Britain. Um, he had two two matches here in Britain. One against Will Ospreay. One against Sid Scala, who I believe is. Uh, yeah, he's one of those guys that got caught out in the Me Too stuff a few years ago. So he's a uh, he's a wrong one for definite. Misawa Misawa on the second open inside. Vader just catches him. Oh, knocks him. Good lord, knocks him down and hard to the uh, ringside. Vader with just that pure strike across the ear. He's hit Misawa a few times across the head with that uh, forearm smash. Yeah. Five minutes have gone. Vader now gets Masao on the outside, taking him down the aisle way. Picks him up with ease and drops him across the uh, metal guardrail on the outside. Vader uh, posing and hot dogging for the crowd. Crowd trying to get Masawa back up to his feet. Vader now with Masawa. Drags him around the ringside area through all the camera people. Oh, Vader going for it. Looks like he's going for a power bomb or something on the outside, maybe. Vader, Masawa's blocking, Masawa's blocking. Vader trying, Vader trying, Masawa blocking. Masawa's dropped down on one knee. Oh, some kidney shots now by Vader. Oh, and some shots around the head. Pummeling Masawa. Vader goes for it again. Again, Masawa blocks. 
Oh, oh headbutts now by Vader. Poke of the eye. Vader go for it again. He's got him up. He's got him up. He's got him up. Oh, power bomb on the outside. Good God. Power bomb on the outside. There's a small, thin blue mat on the outside here, but Vader has just power bombed fucking Masawa. Good Lord. Masawa was trying for his life to block it. Good Lord, the splat of Masawa on the eight on the ringside. Good God Almighty, Vader just did a big splash from the apron to the outside. High risk manoeuvre there for Vader, that's for damn sure. Holy shit. 400 plus pounds just coming off the apron down to Mitsuhara, Mitsuhara Misawa's chest. Holy Jesus. Made it back up to his feet. Picking up Misawa. Misawa the challenger here in front of his uh, homeland. In front of the Tokyo 65,000 here in the Tokyo Dome. Made it now back in the ring. Vader picks up Masawa by the arm, Irish whips him, and oh, a big clothesline there by Vader. Knocks down Masawa. Vader trying to get Masawa to get up, telling him to get up. Pulls him up by his hair by instead. Vader go for a suplex. Oh, suplex there by nearly a brain buster there, good lord. Vader dropped Masawa down. Now picks him back up again. Vader going for it again. So a bit of, bit of a suplex there by Vader. Vader now off the ropes. Boom! Big splash by Vader. One, two. Kick out by Masawa. Masawa kicks out. Masawa kicks out. Vader can't believe it. Vader looking puzzled. Masawa has had the shit kicked out of him in the last five or so minutes by Big Van Vader. Vader now over STF. Maybe. Definitely great, great, great vine the leg. Vader just sort of laying on Masawa, pulling the leg. Don't, not, doing, not doing anything else, really. Not trying to grape, sort of cross face to face. Misawa's got his foot under the rope, so the hold will be broken. Vader dragging Masawa up. Puts him against the ropes. Oh, shot on close on duck by Masawa. Masawa, forearm smash. Forearm smash. Forearm smash. Forearm smash. Rock and Vader on the ropes with his forearm smashes. Good lord. Masawa now off the ropes. Big forearm smash. Tens Vader over the top rope to the outside. Masawa looks like he's going to try. The referee's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Masawa off the ropes. Tope Suicido. Knocking down Vader with that forearm. Masawa, obviously not a uh, not a stranger to the high flying style, being Tiger Mask for quite a few years. Vader back up to his feet, both men on that side. Oh, elbow smash again by Masawa, knocks down Vader. Oh, sent on splash there by uh, back sent on splash there by Masawa. And Oh, what a beautiful splash. Slingshot splash from the inside to the outside by Masawa. Taking it out to Big Van Vader. Misawa Oh, 
ッと取ったを投げた Beautiful German suplex type by Masawa. Good lord. Vader went up high there. One, two. Oh, Vader kicks out. Vader kicked out. Crowd getting behind Masawa. Oh, go for the double underhook. Double. Oh, no. I can't quite pick Vader up. Go for it again. No. Forearm smash by Masawa. Goes to slam Vader, slams the big man. But the slam got nothing but him going for that double underhook. Was popping the crowd. Masawa now on the second open inside. Oh, beautiful elbow drop there by Masawa. One, two, kick it by Vader. Oh! Kick to the chin there by Masawa. Off the ropes. Vader ducks. Vader. German suplex release. German suplex by Vader. Freshman down. Oh, Vader's sort of trying to get up to his feet. Vader's back up to his feet. Vader go for something. Go for a power bomb. Oh! He went to drop. He was a bit too far away from the corner. He went to power bomb him and then just drop him face first on the turnbuckle. Vader now go behind. Oh, no, no, the release German suplex. Good lord, Masao on his head. <coughs> Vader off the ropes. Toot -toot. Big splash. One, two. Kick up by Masao. Kick up by Masao. Kick up by Masao. Good lord, ladies and gentlemen, the action is fast and heavy here. I was, was going to try and tell you what was happening on Monday Night Raw this night. Well, it was it broadcast the next night on the 3rd of May 1999. They've both been laying down now, so we'll give you a quick go. So we've got Billy Gunn defeats X-Pac. Gerald Briscoe and Pat Patterson defeat the Mean Street Posse. Tess defeats Midian, the Big Boss Man and Viscera. Vince McMahon defeats Shane McMahon. The Acolytes defeat Mankind. Triple H defeats Ken Shamrock. The Big Show defeats The Undertaker. Nicole Bass defeats Deborah. Steve Austin and The Rock went to a no contest. Set out power bomb by Vader. Two count, two count, two count. Set out power bomb by Vader. And then Nitro. Nitro on this on the third. Does a 3.4 instead of Raw's 6.5. So on Nitro, they've got Kidman and uh, Rey Mysterio defeating the Armstrongs. Buff Bagwell defeating the Cat. Bam Bam Bigelow going to a no contest with Hack. Conan defeating Hor Horace. Ming defeats David Flair. Kurt Henning defeats Booker T. Diamond Dallas Page defeats Ric Flair. Oh, Vader just slams Masawa down in the corner as he goes for the Vader bomb, as he goes for the moon salt. Vader going up. Is he going up top? Is he going? He's going top. He's going top. He's going top. He's going top. Vader's on the top. Vader's on the top. And hits nobody. Masawa rolls out the way. The pool was empty for the moon salt. ミサワにも Vader takes down Masao. Vader's now going up to the top. By the looks, he's going up to the top on the outside. Vader's climbing the top. Vader is climbing the top. Masao's up. No, Masao's up. Stops him. Stops him. Masao now some uh, form smashes to the belly well of Vader. Masao now going second rope on the inside. Is he going for a super duper plex? He's got Vader cinched up. Is he going to hit him? Is he going to hit him? Masawa. Super duper plex. Good lord. Managed to get that 450 frame up and down. Masawa now back up to his feet. Vader down on the mat. Masawa going up to the top rope by himself. But looks up. 
Masawa climbs up to the top. Masawa. Oh, beautiful frog splash. One, two. Kick up by Vader. Kick up by Vader. Masawa back up to his feet, so is Vader. Masawa puts Vader in the corner, puts him on the top rope. Masawa going for something now, climbs up the second rope as well. Elbow smash, elbow smash. Go for another super duper plex. No. Oh, did he tee off the second rope? Good lord. Masawa unable to capitalise. Calls over. One, two, kick out. Rip. Excuse me. So back up to his feet. Oh, rolling forearm. One, two. Oh, ho, 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 two count. Referee was in the corner to go pin him, pin him. Referee thought that was going to be over, but no way. Made the back up to his feet, as is Masawa. Made a ducks off the ropes. Oh, big lariat by Lara by a. Oh, and drops the butt across the chest. Goes for the cover. One, two. Kick out by Masawa. Masawa's back up though. Forearm smash on Vader. He's got he's mount, mounted forearm smashes there by Masawa. Rocking the triple crown champion. Masawa picks up Vader. Rocking him now with elbow smashes. Oh, Vader now with some belly belly punches. Oh, but Masawa ducks off the clothesline. Oh, forearm smash. Down goes Vader. One, two, three. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. Masawa wins. Masawa wins. Masawa is the brand new triple crown champion. Masawa has done it. Masawa has done it for Giant Baba in this memorial event. 18 minutes, 7 seconds. Masawa, Masawa defeats. Defeats Vader. Listen to the crowd go wild. So, ladies and gentlemen, that has been that was actually a very good watch. I enjoyed that. Like I said, the there's another seven minutes on that video, but especially Masawa. I would imagine just saying how much he loves Giant Baba and all this kind of stuff. So, if you um, understand Japanese, then fully go and watch. Well, fully go and watch that match anyway. But if you want to watch the the other seven minutes of that match, then fully do so because you'll know you'll understand far more than what I know. But as I said, we've just covered a, two very good matches. Like I said, the links are in the description, so you can go and watch those matches if you so wish. They're not terribly long, obviously. The and my. Uh, I try and do my best to um, bring <clears throat> bring the action to you. So, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your continued support. It's been uh, been a pleasure, as always, to do a pure Russo passion for you. Uh, yes, yeah, links in the description. Um, as always, it's been a pleasure to join you here each and every month on our little uh, Japanese special we do. Obviously, you can hear us each and every week on the Place to Be Wrestling Network, be it on a Saturday with the Memphis Continental Wrestling Cast, on a Tuesday with In Your House, uh, or on a alternative Monday, one week it's Hamburg All-Stars, the other week it's Monday Night Project as we cover uh, January to July 1996, WCW Saturday night. We are currently in February of 1996. We've just covered... Uh, some matches from Super Bowl 96 Super Bowl 6 from 1996 so uh, yeah so that's happening here each and every week on the Place to Be Wrestling Network don't forget to give uh, the Place to Be a Network the rest of the shows a listen the North South Connection a listen Backbone Wrestling a listen as well as friends of the show are Vantage Point Acid Wash Memories, Green Smile Town, Book in the Territory, Stick to Wrestling, John McAdam, The Outdated Wrestling Hour with Bob Smith, and anything coming to you from the WrestleCopia Network. I have been your host, Mr. Luke Jennings. This has been the wonderful people of uh, Japan. And uh, we will see you next month with some more matches. And until next time...